Hey there, it's Scott with Yakima again. I'm here this time to show you how to install and use the Fresh Track Ski and Snowboard Mount. The Fresh Track comes in two sizes, four and six. Install is the same for each, but the six is wider to accommodate more skis and snowboards. Let's get started. In the box, you'll find the two mounts, four clamps, two ski lifts, two keys, and a security wrench. First, check your crossbar spread to make sure it works with your skis. Skis or boards under 170 centimeters need a crossbar spread between 12 and 24 inches. Longer skis and boards need a crossbar spread between 12 and 36 inches. Now it's time to install the fresh track on your crossbars. First, you'll need to adjust each clamp to fit your vehicle's crossbar type. For any Yakima crossbars, set the clamp to the middle position, like this. The fresh track can also mount direct to your factory crossbars and may use position one, two, or three for this, depending on your crossbar shape and size. Place the clamp onto the crossbar to check which position works best. Next, using the included wrench, remove the screws from the tops of all four clamps. Then set each clamp in place, like this, and reinstall the screws through the mount and onto each clamp, tightening the screws firmly. Be sure the clamps are positioned so the knobs will be facing the front of the vehicle. Time to get your fresh track up onto your roof rack. Open each clamp by loosening the knob on top, letting the T-bolt pass through the slot, and hinging the clamp open, like this. Then, set your clamps onto the crossbar, and hinge the clamp closed around the crossbar, passing the T-bolt back through the slot. Rotate the T-bolt 90 degrees, and then fully tighten the knob. Finish with each knob at a 45 degree angle, like this, so you can tighten the security screw. After tightening, check to make sure the knob doesn't turn. Now, double check your work by pushing and pulling on the mounts in all directions. If a mount is loose, you may have to simply retighten the knobs, or go back to the beginning and adjust the clamp position to match your crossbar better. Once the mount is fully secure, it's time to load up. First, press the button to open up each mount, and slide your skis and boards in. Be sure to load skis with the tips toward the rear, and make sure your bindings are between the mounts, or, if your crossbars are close together, that one of the mounts closes in the middle of the bindings. Close the mounts, lock with your SKS key, and make sure your load's secure. If your bindings are hitting your vehicle's roof, you need to use the included ski lift. To install the ski lift, first open the mount, and loosen, but don't remove, the screw next to the opening. Then remove the screw near the hinge. Lift up your fresh track at the hinge end, and place the ski lift onto the clamp using this additional screw like this. Then tighten it in place. Now place each mount onto its lift and tighten the knob. Then retighten the screw next to the mount opening. Done. When you're ready, removing the fresh track is simple. First, loosen the clamp knobs, then pass the T-bolt through the slot to hinge the clamps open. Lift off the mounts and set them aside for next time. That's it. You'll be on fresh powder in no time. <laughs>